This is the book of Acts, chapter 13, and verse 1. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simeon, that was called Nigger, and Lucius of Cyrene, and Menin, which had been brought up with Herod, the Tetrarch, and Saul. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Waha, Raka Kodash, Barakatam. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and our truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if you go back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are in fact and indeed an Israelite, if you could perceive it through the spirit. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Akwaf, which are the sisters, as well as I want to give peace and blessings to the children that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. Okay, it's the brother Karataza. And I'm back with another video epistle. Lord willing, it's edifying to those of you who may come across it. Okay, so with that, you know, I wanted to know who are who who are the real Christians? Who are the real Christians? All right. What did they did they did they have a certain physical feature or look about them? So that's why I started with the book of Acts chapter thirteen. We're going to read it again in verse 1. Now, there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called Nigger and Lucius of Cyrene and Manin, which had been brought up with Herod, the Tetrarch, and Saul. Okay, so with that, let's go here. This is the Blue Letter Bible app. Let's go to the interlinear. Let's look up the word, uh, let's look up the word nigger. All right. So here, we, here's the word out of Acts chapter 13. Niger, nigger. Let's hear how it's pronounced. Strong's G 3526. Niger. Niger. What did you call me? <laughs> no, nah, but seriously, let's hear that one more time. Strong's G, 3526. Niger. Niger. Oh, okay. So, they were they were called nigger, all right? Well, let's click on G, 3526, the G meaning Greek. This is the uh, biblical definition. And here go my brother right here, uh, Malak, all right? Very good brother, man. Uh, G thirty five twenty six, as well as the other man. I'm in, in, in Great Millstone, Detroit. All right, uh, let's click on it and see what it says. Neger. All right. Outline of biblical usage: Neger equals black. Surname of the prophet Simeon. Okay. So who 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 were the uh, first Christians? They were they were they they were uh dark skinned men, all right. As a matter of fact, let's go here. We we'll, we'll, matter of fact, we can still stay in this app. I rarely use this blue letter because for some reason on on my devices it be acting up. But now let's go here. Let me see. Okay, let's go to Acts chapter twenty five. I mean, so like at Acts chapter eleven and verse uh, twenty six. Is it? Okay, now let's we're gonna start at verse we're gonna read Acts chapter eleven, verse twenty five and verse twenty six. All right, so this is two uh, chapters previous to what we got in uh, Acts chapter thirteen, and it reads: Then Barnabas, so like it, then departed Barnabas to Tarsus 
for to seek Saul. Okay. Who who's who who would later on be be known as the Apostle Paul? All right, and when he had found him, he brought him on to Antioch. So I, I like I said, who were the first Christians, and what did they look like? Who who are the Christians, and, and who and what do they look like? All right, and it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church. And taught much people. And the disciples, which disciples are students, were called Christians first in Antioch. All right. So the disciples were given the name Christians in Antioch. And guess what? In the book, in two, the next two chapters over, in Acts chapter 11, I mean, Salakia, Acts chapter 13, Salakia means, excuse me, forgive me, I'm sorry. All right. It gives us a description of what they look like. It said the definition called of a nigger, and it said that they were black. Because you got to understand, the uh, the term nigger had a different connotation back then than it does now. Okay? So, yeah, we, we, we know who the real Christians are, and you people have been, uh, you people have been exposed all right, so what 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 I want to do here is uh let's get the uh it says uh let's get some definitions. All right. Going back to the interlinear. Cuz you people stole our identity. Y'all not them people. Yahweh Shai who in the world Henry caused Jesus Christ, he only came back for the elect of the nation of Israel which consists of so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. You other people, you 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 what what do you need? What does the word Hamashiach mean? Alright? What does the word Yahweh Shai mean? Alright? It means he is delivered. Delivered to save. Alright. His people. Alright. What do you so-called white people need saving from? Name me one fucking thing. Alright? I can't wait till the Lord switches things over and we get to stump y'all fucking guts out, man. All of you bitches. Fuck you. You don't like the language that I use on my video. It ain't for the soft. It ain't for the weak. Get the fuck out of here, man. All you people about to fucking die. I hope the Lord don't put me in that with y'all. All right? So, uh, let's go here. It's, let's get the word for church. 1577. All right? Ecclesia. A gathering of citizens called out from their homes into some public place, an assembly, an assembly of the people convened at the public place of the council for the purpose of deliberating the assembly of the Israelites. All right. Not nobody else. OK, let's get some more uh, definitions. All right. Shit pisses you off, man. Uh, what it says here. Yep. So let's get a the definition for disciples. All right. Matter of fact. Strong's G 3101. Mate taste. Mate Let's click on it. Uh, Mate taste. Uh, a learner, a pupil, a disciple. A pupil is a student. A student learns. All right. So, yeah, the disciples, the apostles, the Christians were so-called dark-skinned black men. All right. And the church isn't a place, isn't a building where you go in. And you preach the word of the Lord. No, you go out on the highways and hedges. Only so many people can fit inside of a building, man. All right. Those are whorehouses. Those places that you call churches are freaking whorehouses, man. Let's, let's prove that. Uh, this is a book of Jeremiah, chapter 5. Uh, where are we at? Is it down here?
Bear with me. Um, Slocket. Harlot houses. It's, uh, verse 7 is what I wanted. How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me. That's right. The, the, the children of the Lord, the Israelites, have forsaken him and turned their backs on him. And sworn by them there are no gods, no powers. All right. When I had fed them to the full, they committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the harlot's houses. Those harlot houses are your modern day church buildings where all type of madness and wickedness uh, takes place in the name of the Lord, man. Not even in his real true name. All right. The Lord is going to uh, destroy you people, man. He's going to destroy you Edomites for lying to us, giving us the slave Bible, telling us we was niggas, spicks, fucking tanto hats, not telling us who we are. We the real Christians. All right. So um, another uh, scripture, bear with me, that I, I had wanted to uh, grab. Uh, damn, it's, it's slipping my mind. Bear with me. Oh, yeah. Hold on. It's like it. Con, con. We, we'll, we'll close out with this scripture right here. This is going to be the book of Exodus chapter 17. And we'll just grab verse 1. And all the congregation of the children of Israel. Remember, we just got the children of Israel are the Christians. All right. The congregation is the church. Join all so like and all the congregation of the children of Israel journeyed from the wilderness of sin after their journeys according to the commandment of the Lord and pitched in Rep Hadim, and there was no water for the people to drink. The point is the congregation was outside. They weren't in a building that could contain only so many people to live, hear the uh word of the Lord, all right. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans, we are the true Christians of the Bible. And the whole world is about to see it, whether they believe it or not. So, you know what? Lord willing, this quick lesson was edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again, I want to say, Once again, I want to get double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Ruel who taught me this truth and who most definitely labor in this word. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessings, salutations to all of you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in our truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say a ball, ball, ball and shalom.